Hi all, greetings from the apocalypse. So this week in the studio, we fused some beautiful 22K tubing. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna go over everything you need to know so you can do it beautifully, just like we did. Okay, so we're gonna put like our delicious 22 karat gold tube mm, that Alexis made. We're gonna put it in the kiln, put the lid on for a sec and just let it heat up a little bit. And then we're gonna fuse it. Who's got 50 cents? Or more like 350. Oh, yeah, you're right, sorry. I'm really old, I just uh, I just revealed that by thinking I could buy ice cream with change. Okay, I'm just gonna like shift over the seam a little bit, just like, I just have to be able to see it, mm -hmm. I mean. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my flame straight up and down. And I'm going to go around the whole thing. I'm going to build up the heat until the seam glows brighter than everything else. That's what tells us it's at a hot enough temperature that then we can actually start doing some fusing. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at that part that's glowing brightly. And I'm going to look for the spot that looks the narrowest. You know what I mean? Like the tightest fit. Because anytime you're soldering or fusing, it's always better to start where where you have a good joint because then it's it's always you know once you get it going it's easy to get going so you never want to pick your worst spot and try to start there okay uh but if you guys want to see you should probably come behind me because i'm going to be using the lid and then you won't be able to see nothing <laughs> okay flame straight up and down And you see all the way on the end at the left, it's not all the way together, but we're gonna like squeeze that back together after we've got some of the rest of this tacked. And that's why we need the kiln to sort of add that background heat. It's very hard to get enough heat with something this big with just your torch. You see that glow? Mm -hmm. Oh, I just fused it. Use it again. You see what I'm saying? It gets bright and then you just see it. It almost looks a little bit like solder flowing in the sense that it doesn't get like as liquid as fine silver. But you see that? Get it hot. Mm -hmm. Get it hot. Get it hot. Get it hot. Get it hot. So I'm going to save some of this for you, Alexis, because you. I know you want me to. Mm -hmm. Okay, so yep. I'm done up to like right there. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to put the lid down. I'm going to trade it over to you mm -hmm. and let you heat that up. But remember, stop when you get to the part where it doesn't meet so well. Okay? Okay. <laughs> oh my God, you have to sit down. Holy shit. It's like, don't do that. Bloop, studio bloopers. Oh my God. <laughs> just when she's distracted, I pull the seat away. Yeah, just when I've got a lit torch. Yes, we're testing your powers of focus. <laughs> and you see, though, Alexis, what a good job you did of getting the majority of that together yeah, by how it easy it was to really, fuse. Yeah. Oh, you put the red hot. Is it okay? Yeah, you gotta get that hotter. Hotter? Oh, yeah. That seam has to glow brighter than everything else. Just keep your flame off the very skinny end. You know what I mean? The part where it's not touching. Mm -hmm. I want to guide you a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now, because the front half of this is all together, we can kind of be there a little bit to use that to build the heat up. Do you know what I'm saying? Because yep. look, now you start to be able to see what's what, okay? All right, you see what I mean? You start, yeah. that's when you can start to get down with your bad self, okay? It looks Use like a little bit like and the, move it along. Because the, um, the flash doesn't look, it looks duller. Is it just like keep oxidized heating. a little bit? Keep, no, just keep heating. You'll see that it'll go away as it gets to the right temperature. You see that? Mm -hmm. There you go. And then how do you know? The gold is hard to tell, right? If okay. it's completely. Do you mind if I guide no, you a little bit? Because here's what we're going to do. Okay? 
hot, hot, hot. Mm -hmm. Seam is glowing, right? Okay, yes. so let's start right here. Flow a little, mm -hmm. move it along. Flow a little, move it oh, along. Oh, I see it, I see, I see. Move it along, and then move it along. And then that's probably as that's far as we can go. go. Yep. Look at that. Awesome. So the seam doesn't disappear, but you can see it. The glow part disappears. The yes. orange glow disappears. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Because the, that real bright orange glow right. is the opening. Is the opening. Yes, right. exactly. Okay. That right. makes sense. So that's great because then before I was always like, I don't know what I'm looking for because the seam doesn't go away in the same way that it does with silver. Yeah, it doesn't disappear completely right. like it does with fine silver. But the it gap. fills in ish yeah. and it gets a little darker. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. So she we so take it take out, it let out. it cool, and pickle it, and then we're just going to squeeze together that last little bit on the end, and then we'll fuse that too. Cool. Yay! Fusing awesome. tubing is the funnest. So here's the 22K tube looking fine, as you can see. I'll zoom in. Alexis has that last little bit all together, so we're going to stick it in the kiln and fuse that baby shut. Okay, so I'm just gonna supervise Alexis. So put that baby in there. And then we'll start getting it nice and hot. Mmm, gold tubing. Delish. So remember, flame straight up and down, build that heat up, and then we'll start sort of concentrating on the end. So it's just that left end that needs a little, a little extra love. A little help. And it's super common when you're making tubing that it doesn't meet perfectly, absolutely, to the last one billionth of a millimeter. I mean, you get the majority of it shut, you fuse it, that's fine. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's why we went ahead before and just fused the majority of it and then went back and spiffed up that last, you know, centimeter there. Did you just see that fusing oh, happen? Yes. Yeah, do it one more? more time for giggles. Good. See that one bright spot? It's there, right there. Yep. So get to flow next to the spot. You see what I mean? Uh -huh. Oh, that's how it works. Perfect. All right. Literally fantastic and perfect. Awesome. So take it out, let it cool pickle it, and we'll look at it, but it's 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 done, man. You have cracked the code. Yay! <sighs> yes. Awesome. Cool, thank you. All right, there it is in all its glory, all pickered and gorgeous. So we're gonna pull it through like a, at least a couple holes and just um, show it so you can see what I mean about basically the draw plate will clean up the seam for you. There's nothing in the whole world I like more than something else doing cleanup for me. So, beautiful tube, tubing draw plate. So I just start with the biggest hole and I'm gonna find the hole that it just sort of catches at, which is, yeah, I guess, yeah, maybe right there. Grab it with the tongs, the squish. See what I'm saying? We're just gonna pull it through. These first few holes, it's only hitting in a few spots, so it's not really giving me a whole lot of resistance. Okay, I'm gonna flip it around so that we can... You know, once it starts hitting more area, it'll pull a little slower, but still tubing is not hard to pull. So for example, I mean, I don't think we're really done pulling, but at this point, if you take a look, the seam is almost disappeared. You can still see it a tiny little bit. End is beautiful and round, you know what I mean? So like I said, we'll check this now against your stones and we'll probably pull more, but I'm just saying like, that's, that's tubing, baby. 